In the mysterious world of early biblical history, few figures capture the imagination quite like Enoch, the man who was taken by God without tasting death. Although he is mentioned only briefly in the Bible, Enoch's story has sparked countless interpretations and inspired numerous writings, including texts beyond the Bible, like the Book of Enoch. He is a symbol of faith, an enigma of human history, and a unique example of divine favor. Who was Enoch, and what was so extraordinary about him that he alone, alongside Elijah, escaped the natural path of life and death? Let's explore his life, his walk with God, and the many layers of meaning that surround him. Enoch was born into a lineage of giants of faith. As the seventh generation from Adam, he was part of a family tree that included names carrying significant prophetic meanings. These names, when translated, reveal an intriguing message that many believe points forward to the coming of a savior. Adam, the first man, means man. His son, Seth, whose name means appointed, represented the line through which God's promise of redemption would be fulfilled. Seth's son, Enosh, means mortal, and his grandson, Kenan, means sorrow. As we continue down the line, we encounter Mahalalel, whose name means the blessed God, and Jared, meaning shall come down. Then we meet Enoch, whose name means teaching or dedicated, followed by Methuselah, whose name ominously means his death shall bring. Lamech, the next in line, means despair, and Noah means rest or comfort. When put together, this lineage forms a poetic prophecy. Man is appointed mortal sorrow, but the blessed God shall come down, teaching that his death shall bring the despairing comfort. In this context, Enoch's life takes on a deeply symbolic meaning. He represents a messenger, a teacher who lived as a witness to the people around him, pointing toward the ultimate redemption God would bring. But unlike his ancestors, Enoch's life held an unusual destiny. Genesis 5, 22 to 24 gives us the main outline of his story. Enoch walked with God, then he was no more because God took him away. This phrase, walked with God, is particularly important, as it is used only a few times in the Bible. It suggests an intimate, continuous relationship, a life aligned with God's will and purpose in a way that set Enoch apart. The Hebrew verb walk here implies a daily, ongoing journey, a life in step with God, a relationship not just in belief, but in daily action and devotion. As Enoch's life unfolds in the pages of Genesis, we learn that he was the father of Methuselah, a man famous for having the longest lifespan recorded in the Bible, 969 years. Methuselah's name, as we noted, translates roughly to his death shall bring. And it is believed by many scholars that Methuselah's death coincided with the year of the great flood. This detail is significant because it suggests that Enoch might have had a prophetic insight into the coming judgment on the earth. His entire life, then, was a sign pointing to something greater, and his son's very existence was a countdown to the flood that would cleanse the world of corruption. The phrase, God took him away, stands out, not only in Genesis, but in the entire Bible, because it describes a unique act of God, an exception to the natural order of life and death. Enoch's fate is shared only by the prophet Elijah, who was taken up to heaven in a whirlwind with chariots of fire, 2 Kings 2.11. However, Enoch's departure is quiet and understated, without dramatic displays, which adds to the sense of mystery surrounding him. The book of Hebrews, a New Testament text, provides insight into why Enoch was taken. Hebrews 11.5 says, By faith Enoch was taken from this life, so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. This verse indicates that it was Enoch's faith, a deep, unshakable trust and alignment with God, that set him apart and led to his extraordinary fate. This unique fate of Enoch has often been associated with a concept known in Christianity as the rapture. The idea of the rapture is that believers who are alive at the time of Christ's return will be taken up to heaven without dying, escaping the judgment that is to come. Enoch's life, then, serves as a foreshadowing of this event, an example of what it means to live in such closeness to God 
that one is spared from death itself. His life symbolizes hope for eternal life, a promise that believers hold on to even today. The story of Enoch's life doesn't end with the canonical Bible, however. In a text known as the Book of Enoch, which is part of the Pseudepigrapha, ancient books not included in the Standard Bible, we find a much expanded account of his life. The Book of Enoch presents him as a prophet and visionary, one who encounters angels, heavenly beings, and even catches glimpses of the end times. Although it is not considered part of the Bible, the Book of Enoch has influenced Judeo-Christian thought and was respected by some early church figures, like Tertullian and Clement of Alexandria. This book describes Enoch as a mediator between humanity and the divine, a man granted unique insights into God's workings and the destiny of the world. One of the most compelling aspects of the Book of Enoch is its description of Enoch's interaction with the Watchers, a group of angels who, according to the text, came to earth and took human wives, leading to the birth of a hybrid race known as the Nephilim. Genesis 6 briefly mentions the sons of God coming to earth and marrying the daughters of men, but the Book of Enoch expands on this, describing how these angels taught humanity forbidden knowledge and introduced violence and chaos into the world. According to the Book of Enoch, Enoch is appointed by God to warn the Watchers of their impending judgment, and he records visions of the punishments awaiting them. This story presents Enoch as a righteous man in an increasingly corrupt world, one who stands as a voice of warning and a guide for those who will listen. While the Book of Enoch is not recognized as scripture by most Christian denominations, it provides a rich narrative that gives us a sense of how early Jewish and Christian communities viewed Enoch. The themes of judgment, redemption, and the clash between divine and earthly realms echo throughout the Bible, and Enoch's role as a prophet and intercessor fits within this larger framework. The Book of Enoch was eventually set aside from the biblical canon, partly because of its controversial descriptions of angels and its speculative nature, but it still holds a place in the hearts of those intrigued by biblical mysteries. Enoch's story also brings up questions about what it means to walk with God. This phrase suggests more than mere obedience. It speaks to a profound spiritual connection, a life lived in harmony with God's will. Enoch's life was a journey of faith, a daily walk in which he remained close to God, trusting him even in an age of increasing corruption. He stands as a model for believers today, a reminder that true faith involves not just believing in God, but walking with him, seeking his presence, and living in a way that pleases him. His story encourages believers to deepen their relationship with God and to hold fast to their faith, even when the world around them seems dark and uncertain. There is another layer to Enoch's life that bears exploring. In Jewish tradition, Enoch is sometimes seen as a figure who bridges the earthly and the divine, embodying both human vulnerability and divine wisdom. Some interpretations even suggest that Enoch's life points to a future in which humanity can be united with God in a direct, unmediated way. In Christian theology, this is achieved through Jesus Christ, who bridges the gap between God and humanity. In this sense, Enoch's life prefigures the life of Christ, a life wholly aligned with God's will and a life that culminates not in death but in ascension. The significance of Enoch's story lies not only in his personal destiny, but in what it reveals about God's larger plan for humanity. Enoch's life serves as a reminder of God's promise to redeem humanity, to restore us to a state of communion with him. Enoch's walk with God symbolizes the possibility of a life transformed by faith, a life lived in such closeness to God that death itself becomes unnecessary. It speaks to the ultimate hope of eternal life, a promise that believers hold on to even today. His story invites us to reflect on our own journeys and challenges us to pursue a life that is pleasing to God, a life that draws us closer to Him with each step. In modern times, Enoch's story continues to captivate those who seek a deeper understanding of faith and divine mystery. Whether seen as a precursor to the rapture, an example of unwavering faith, or a symbol of divine knowledge, Enoch's life holds a message for all who seek to walk with God. His example teaches us that faith is not merely a set of beliefs but a living, dynamic relationship with the Creator. Enoch's life shows that when we walk with God, we become part of a larger story, one that transcends time and touches eternity. In conclusion, 
Enoch's story is not simply about a man who escaped death, but about a life that serves as a beacon of faith, hope, and the promise of God's redemption. Through Enoch, we catch a glimpse of what it means to live in true communion with God, to walk with Him in a way that transforms not only our lives, but the lives of those around us. His life calls us to consider our own journeys of faith and to live with the hope that one day, like Enoch, we too may be united with God, free from the bonds of death and sin, and welcomed into His eternal presence.